says, if I sin, I die. I want to say like you meant. The Lord says, if I sin, I die. Because that's, that's going to be key to understand how to walk in salvation. If you sin, you die. That's what he said. He said, if you sin, if you break my law and you eat that tree, you're going to die. Adam ate from the tree and he began to die. And God did something unique that the average person won't be able to see. God began to tell how he was going to save mankind and also visibly show. What does God do? He tells the devil, the seed of the woman is going to crush your head and you're going to bruise his heel. He told, he told the devil, something's going to come from a woman. You trick the woman, I'm going to get a woman that's going to jack you up. You know, because he messed her up. She lost her status there. She was equal with the man. But as a result of that disobedience, the Bible says, now women, your desire shall be to that man. You ever wonder why women get out of control when they fall in love? It's a part of the curse. A desire is to that man. But before the fall, she was equal. He got crazy, crazy. Now he got crazy, that's fine. <laughs> but in Christ, she spits. Yes. And so you see, it's very important that we understand that things happened in the beginning that are affecting us every day. And then God goes ahead. And you know, this way you need to understand what sin does to you. Sin makes you afraid and no one's chasing you. The Bible says the wicked flee and no one's chasing you. Adam and Eve was butt naked, running around in the press. I mean, in the, in the garden. The Bible said they were naked and unashamed. Doing splits, she was doing push ups, ah, you know, they butt naked. And it said they were not ashamed. Making a point. Then they heard God, they, after they ate from the tree, sin came into their life, they began to become afraid. The first sign of, the first sign of sin's entrance into your life is fear. You know, all right. You ever notice why when you try to take the offering, you, your heart gets warm? fear. Because <laughs> many of you don't give the right offer. And you're convincing yourself two dollars will work. Two dollars will work. Well, get some dice. Head crack. That's a flashback. Now watch this. So now he's in the garden. And so God does something that most people won't see. He kills a lamb. And the Bible says that he clothed their nakedness. Now, they were not cold. We wear coats because we're cold. He clothed them to clothe their shame. To show them, I'm going to save you. So in the garden, God began to show someone's going to die. To cover everyone's shame. Amen. Because when you're ashamed, you can't approach God. You can't. You know, I don't want this. All right. I'm going to do this last one. If you ever plan on getting married, there's going to be some little possible shame. Because you ain't never been naked before. And you ain't gonna, you ain't, you're not gonna just jump out the shower. It's your wedding night. So you're gonna have a little modesty. Nobody say nothing. I'm just saying this by faith. We're gonna have a reverted elation 
service. Yes, I, we go, you know, we baptize, we're going to re re virgitize you. <laughs> Moving right along. Because when you got to expose yourself, yes, yes, if you're not confident in what you're exposing, shame will come. Yes, yes. So salvation removes your shame. Amen. You think people don't come to church because they don't want to? There is a devil that reminds them you don't belong there. They should tell that devil you are lying. You don't want that to shame, not me. I need to be there. And so, you know, so he begins to show them how he was going to save them. How he was going to cover their nakedness, remove their shame. And so my, my, my message is going to take on three, three different parts. And that can be major. But we, we're dealing with those three enemies. If we can deal with those three enemies, then we can completely have a victorious salvation experience. Amen. The law, sin, and death. Jesus gives you eternal life, so for the most part, death is not an issue. And here's my definition of death. I'm going slow because you got to get on. So I'm going to give you a chicken answer. The definition of death, that was separation from life. Amen. Amen. Me, for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was separation from life. God gives life, so death is separation from God. God is the author of life, so if God is not in your life, then you are dead. You can walk around, breathe, eat chicken, you know, do everything every other person is, but if you don't have God in your life, you are what the Bible calls dead. Jesus says you are in your, you are dead in your trespasses in your sins. So we see we have a responsibility to walk in victory over death, the law, and sin. Now here's the definition of sin. Sin is doing that which is contrary. It's going to help half of y'all. And then it's going to help the other half too. This is what sin is. Everybody want to know what is sin. I'm going to tell you what sin is. Sin is doing that which is contrary to God's will, whether you know it or not. And also doing stuff he wouldn't do. That's contrary to his nature. That's why I can say all have, even these guys, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And if we don't get victory over sin, we will sin every day and pay for it. Even though we don't do stuff that's according to the law, we still mess up, but those sins don't count in our life. Yes. <laughs> because we've been saved yes. from our sin. Amen. And we've been saved yes. from the law. Yes. Amen. 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 See, that's why you don't have to be so sin conscious. <laughs> now, let me, let me do something in English. You know, when I was in California, they have what's called a jaywalking law. I moved to Irvington in 1984, and I didn't know Irvington has a, a no sneaker law. If you wear tennis shoes, after a certain amount of time at, at night, they are considered an accessory to a crime. That's still in the law. I said, I'm not taking my sneakers off. But it's in the law. What gives that law power? The authority behind it. You're speeding in a car, right? You might, you know, you ain't mind a bit. You see it's 55, and you'd be like, it just feels good. Look, my, my foot down here feels better than that sun. Uh, yes, yes. Seven, I start to feel good about myself. 